Alright, now back to these games that I want to play. RPG World. Um, that's what they call them here, but it's it's actually Olmo's uh, Adventure. Really good. Um, written in Python using Pygame. And uh, looks like something you'd see on a fourth generation game console. Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, something like that. And it's got simple sound. I don't know how well you can hear that. Now I looked at this guy's website and he doesn't he, he he said that he started out on this one project and and for this and um he doesn't really describe himself as a very skilled programmer but I'll probably contact him and tell him that he's wrong because I think he did really oh crap I think that he did really well on this game um And uh, the, the artwork is good. Um, you know, you see detail in here. They, they, I mean, whoever did this did a really good job, I think. And, I mean, if they would have done this 20 years ago, I thought, you know, they could have had him a job developing for uh, fourth generation game so uh, consoles. Because, I mean, I've seen... Uh, games in the industry on the Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis that looked about like this um, and behaved similar to it. I mean, <clears throat> I'm, I'm sure anything can always be improved upon, but still nonetheless, this almost looks professional quality to me. For 20 some odd years ago. Oh man. Space bar. Now the Python programming language existed um, um, you know during the time period when uh, fourth generation game consoles were popular which was the early 1990s. Um, Yeah, appeared in 1991, which is the same year the Super Nintendo released. Um, so, um, Pi Game first um, made its appearance in, uh, I believe I read it was in the year 2000. Um, Pi Game homepage for that. And then, um, no. When did SDL first make its appearance? Design history. If early 1998. So it, you couldn't really do. I mean, you could do these games uh, like like this one here. You could do almost adventure. You could do it as early as maybe 1999, practically. Or, or maybe late 1998. Um, Pie game about it, which the logo looks really good. I like that. Uh, come on, bring up the page. Oh, it's already there. <laughs> what was I thinking? Um, history. Uh, I thought it was. I thought it's been around longer than that. Um, Anyway, IGL. I think somebody wrote a game like that. Pi, open Pi GL. Okay, I don't want to run that right now. It's 
standard OpenGL bindings for Python. This is if you're doing 3D stuff. Alright, so we're back to this game here. I got a little bit further in it last uh, earlier when I played it. When I played it the other day. You just gotta know the routines of what these things do, the movements. Ah, oh, you little punk! Anyway, that's enough of that. Alright. Now... Solar Wolf. I think that goes full screen. I might lose my video recording. Um... Here's some good artwork. This is really good. I like that. Whoever do that had talent. Now, Squirrel. Here's a game. I don't know who wrote this, but um, wrote it in, okay. Uh, it was done by Al Swigert. Um, okay. Hey, he wrote the um. Oh, invent your own computer games, Python. So he did this. And see, the the screen is scrolling. I want that in my game, uh, Danger from Above. And this is written in the Python programming language using Pygame, just like Olmo's Adventure, the game we had played just a minute ago, uh, just like it is. Same programming language, same API, all that. Just it's a different game made by a different person all that and you see you gotta get through here and don't get um eaten by others or attacked by other squirrels it's just something simple to show you know screen scrolling and um collision detection so forth all right that was simple let's run something else mm. Star Pusher, I wonder what that's about. It was written by Al Swigert also. And these games right here, oh, these games in this directory, Python games, they came off of the uh, Raspberry Pi. So they were bundled with the Raspberry Pi um, as um, the uh, official, you know, as part of the official Linux distribution. And they're promoting the Python programming language uh, for for kids to learn programming skills on, since it's very easy. You can see this looks like kind of more child-centric type of gaming. Star pusher, press A key to start. Um, oh, I remember this one. Yeah, and it's um, I don't know exactly what to do, but you can see it's got the little tree sprite that we got here, and it's got pretty good graphics. Um, okay. What else did I want to run? Mm, I wonder what Jim Jim is. Once again by Al Swigert. Oh, okay. I know what you do. Okay, this got mouse. Mm. I wonder what the goal of the game is to do. I don't know what you do with this. Use a keyboard input. Okay, Let me just close that out. Really, it's when you look at the program code and like know what it does, but <laughs> I don't know enough about that to really be useful. And Pi Shooter. This was in a uh, featured in a YouTube video. Somebody was demonstrating um, their basic uh, tutorial about how Pi game works. And uh, Liam Fraser. We'll run it. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So you see over here it's collision detection right there. Uh, when you're, um, when only when I click on the Raspberry Pi, he's showing that. Oh, 
see Solar Wolf. Hopefully it doesn't stretch out full screen. Probably will. Yes, it does. Okay, that's fine. And that had Parallax uh, Starfields. My friend Tom Porter, he hates that. He just says it's so unrealistic. So, um, I guess that concludes that.